Hey golfers, I'm Drew Holder, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master club fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we are outside on the driving range testing out three players distance irons um, from the last couple of years, I guess. Um, we've got the Titleist T200, which is actually your gamer, Jackie. We've got the TaylorMade P790 and we've got the Callaway Apex 21. So uh, again, kind of the last couple of years, these are sort of the best performing, I would say, players distance irons out there, or at least three of the best performing players distance irons. So. Jackie, you're in this category in terms of, you know, you have the T200 in your bag, so you kind of know what these types of irons deliver for golfers. Um, and you've been fitting a lot of golfers into these three iron sets this year. What do you think we'll see today? Yeah, I've hit all three of these, um, you know, in other testings and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I really like all three of them, to be honest. I almost got the P790 over the T200, so okay. I expect that the Apex and the P790 are going to maybe go a little bit farther. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, the spin should go down because of the loft a little yeah. bit. Um, but I think they're all going to be fairly similar, but it'll be uh, interesting to see in terms of dispersion, which one performs the best there. Uh, and just compare head to head because these are all, you know, the same weight and everything. So yeah. in shaft, so very similar in terms of that. Sure. Yeah. And then, I mean, one thing to note too, so this is a player resistance category. It's kind of for those golfers that, uh, you know, want that extra distance but also do maybe want to be able to work the ball or maybe they have a consistent shot shape that they want to be able to hit. Um, players distance irons are kind of right in between that player's iron and that game improvement iron. So um, it's becoming a more and more popular category for golfers. A lot of players are fitting into that spot. So um, Apex 21, P790, T200. You ready to hit some shots here, Jackie? Let's go. That was nice, a high and soft ball flight there. So Jackie, six shots with your Gamer T200. Um, I know you noted that you didn't quite strike all of those perfect. Um, uh, so what would you say that you're kind of, when you hit the ball, you know, like you normally do on average, your distances with a seven iron? Yeah, usually 130 carry, 140 total. So okay. that's on average what it typically is. Okay, because interesting, you know, you had a shot there. Yeah, I mean, you hit, for example, your 137 smash factor there with your third shot. 134 carry, 140 total. Um, you had one 132, that was 128 carry, 135 total. So that's about right, yep. but you just had a couple there with 127, 127, 126 smash factor. And those ones kind of brought the averages down a little bit, but overall, 124 carry, 131 total. So um, interesting to note now as we go to Apex 21, then we'll see how that smash factor and kind of the total distances still line up and maybe see how forgiving these clubs are. All right, sounds good. Um, looking at the numbers here, Jackie. Um, so I'm going to expand these so we can see all of them because I know you kind of had probably, I would say, roughly the same amount of sort of good strikes and bad strikes with each club, roughly. Um, so in total, Apex 21 carry on average 121.6, 130 total. So just a slightly uh, you know, less carry distance with the Apex 21. Um, I do want to note, so with the Apex 21, you had a couple there with that smash at like 128. We were talking about 127, 128. Um, kind of one brought it down to 114 carry. Yeah. Um, and your last shot there will probably end up taking that one out of the averages anyway. Yep. But so 
I do want to ask you too now. We kind of got the numbers charted here, and then I'm going to bring up the dispersion here. Um, but look and feel how they sound. What do you think are the differences between Apex 21 and TJ 100 so far? Yeah, I mean the Apex feels good. It feels forgiving, but still has like you know a soft feel to it. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like the feel of it and everything. Uh, but yeah, it. It's very similar to the T200 in some ways, like maybe a little bit louder. I don't know. That's kind of not like super loud or anything, but just a different sound. Um, yeah. But overall, yeah, I, I like the feel of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, those, they are built a little bit differently, right? Apex 21 uh, kind of, I think the all the way forged throughout T200, there are some elements, uh, some of the clubs that, you know, have kind of that forge feel to them as well. But um, you can definitely hear the sound differences as well. And mm -hmm. then we're going to get to P790 here, which talk about a club that sounds like it and feels like it has a lot of pop to it at that hollow construction with the foam mm -hmm. in there. So you'll feel a difference there, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I mean, so far these two clubs, I would say pretty similar performance so far. Now let's see what P790 has. <laughs> So Jackie, the P790 now, um, did you notice a difference in feel, sound, or maybe the way it looks even between the other two? Uh, yeah, it has like a different, I don't know how to describe it, but definitely a different sound and feel than the other two. Um, yeah, like more, like you said, hollow is mm -hmm. how I'd put it. Um, but yeah, I know, I, I mean, I like the feel of it. You know, as a club that I was on the fence about going with for this year, so sure. um, I already knew I'd like the feel of it. But yeah, there's some swings I didn't particularly make great contact with just because yeah. it's hot and getting tired. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you've, been, you've done a lot of testing today. Yeah. Um, what I can do here is I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to delete kind of maybe let's go let's go with the best four from each club. Okay. Okay. So we've got our best four shots from each of the three irons here. I can show you the dispersion map a little bit and kind of the numbers here. So yeah. you've got the purple here, which is the P790 on the left. Then you have the blue, which is T200. And then the red is the Apex 21. Yeah. So the best of the four shots there. And also something to note we would expect given how the properties of the P790, but also the lofts and stuff, lowest spin there yep. around 6,000. The other two were actually around 7,000. Yep. Um, but and also the farthest, by the way, P790, which is something you did predict. So based on these numbers, I mean, is there anything that surprises you or anything else you may be curious about um, with these numbers? No, I mean, there's a reason why the T200 and the P790 were ones that I was thinking sure. about playing. So not surprising that they're really similar other than the spin rate mm -hmm. um, and a little bit more distance of the P790. Uh, you know, the Apex feels great and stuff, but yeah, like I was saying, I. Uh, for me, it's not the club, but yeah. it's it's mainly, um, you know, again, preference. I think overall, like when we're fitting people into some of these more, I would say they're more premier, um, you know, player distance yeah. irons. Yeah. Um, so they all have a price tag as well, but mm -hmm. they there's a reason why. I mean, consistency and getting a little bit more distance definitely is something that these can bring mm -hmm. um, for someone like, myself who's single digit handicap and you know is pretty consistent but obviously I don't swing out of my shoes I don't have the fastest swing in the world but could use a little bit more distance a little bit help there um, that would be a good option because uh, mm -hmm. when I was in more of a blade I was losing a lot of distance so this type of option is really good for those people that um, could use that extra distance but also not sacrifice you know getting good spin out of it because mm -hmm. as you can tell um, I'm still getting good spin, getting good height. Yeah. So I'm not sacrificing that, but I'm just gaining a little bit more distance. For sure. Uh, with the club like this. For sure. Yeah. I mean, you nailed it. The players distance irons, again, it's there's a ton of pop to them, ton of distance, but also the forgiveness and then, you know, the spin you're going to need as well yep. to create the high launch kind of um, soft landing on the green when you need it. So um, three really good players distance irons, like you mentioned, P790 has been really popular, probably the most explosive probably of the yep. three. But then between the T200, Apex 21, you get maybe a little bit more height. And um, you know, again, 
you talked about the look and the preference there. There's always going to be different looks, different um, visual cues that golfers like to look at, and these are three different looking irons. So um, if you're interested in any of these th three irons, come into Second Swing, visit secondswing.com, talk to one of our experts like Jackie here, and one of our team members will help you get dialed in to a new set of players distance irons. Again, with the Quick Play program, we have all these sets in-house and we can customize them for you and ship them out within one day. So please take advantage of that so you're not dealing with a long wait of a custom order or anything like that. So Jackie, thanks for joining today, uh, dealing with this heat today, hitting all the shots for us and providing your feedback. Yeah, thank you.